In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to deep etch hair from a clean background. We're going to use the background eraser tool. This method works really well on a nice clean background, not so well with a cluttered background. First thing we need to do is go over to our layers panel and we need to unlock the layer. At the moment it's got a little padlock which indicates that it's locked. I've just double clicked where it says background and it brings up new layer. I can call it anything I like, but I'm going to click OK and it'll get rid of the padlock. The reason I've done that is because I want to have a transparent background and if I didn't do that and use the eraser tool, all I'd do is paint with the background colour rather than erasing. We want to see the checkerboard image. Let's grab the eraser tool, make the brush a bit bigger and we get this checkerboard thing, which is exactly what we want. That tells us we've got a transparent background. What I'm going to do is make a new layer and I'm going to fill that with a colour that's different from the blue because when I get around to trying to raise all this hair around here it's going to be difficult to see what I've done and what I've missed against the checkerboard background. What we need to do is just fill that with colour, grab the paint bucket tool, make sure you haven't got the gradient tool and grab a colour, just click on the foreground colour thing in the uh, colour swatches and let's pick something that's different from blue let's go for red something fairly dark click OK hit it with a paint bucket tool just go click and move that layer underneath our image that we're trying to erase and you'll see rather than having a checkerboard there we've got this uh, red background if I turn it off there's the checkerboard it's going to make life a lot easier when we get into all this hair Let's go for the background eraser tool, which is this guy here. Up the top of the screen, you'll see three little gadgets here. This middle gadget here, it says sampling once. That's the one we want. Make sure that's selected. Where it says limits, out of this choice of discontiguous, contiguous and find edges, we want discontiguous. For our tolerance, 50%. That's pretty good, so we'll just leave that. Let's make sure that we've got layer 0 selected. We don't want to be erasing layer 1, the red layer. We want to actually erase the correct layer, so I'm making sure I've got layer 0 selected. And I'm just going to move across into the image area, and I need to take a sample of the blue. I'm going to hold down the Alt key to do that, and it turns into an eyedropper, and I can take a sample. If I start painting my mouse with this uh, background eraser tool, it should start to get rid of the blue and leave behind the hair. So that's working pretty well. If I need to change the diameter of the brush at any stage I can just do a right mouse button click and I can change the size and the hardness uh, make it softer if I want to do a bigger diameter that sort of thing. Or I can also click on the right braces key or the left braces key near the letter P on my keyboard. Right braces key makes it bigger, left braces key makes it smaller. Just going to grab another sample of that blue, Alt key for that, and away we go. Let's move in and get rid of most of this hair. I've got to be careful when I get to the skin on her shoulder because it looks pretty similar to the blue background and I could actually start erasing her shoulder rather than the hair and I've actually done just that so I'm going to go Command Z and undo that show you what I mean if I take a sample from this blue down here and just start painting it, I'll get rid of the shoulder and I don't want that. That's a job for the conventional eraser tool. So Command Z, undo that. Another way of making this brush diameter smaller, I'm going to hold down the Control and the Alt key and click and my brush is represented by this red circle. If I move the brush to the left it makes the diameter smaller, if I move the brush to the right it increases the diameter. If I push the brush away from me it makes the brush softer, if I pull the, br uh, the mouse sorry, towards me it makes the brush harder. So let's go for a smaller brush, moving the mouse to the left and I want to make it softer so I'm going to push the mouse away from myself so I've got a fairly smooth edged brush. Let's take another sample of the blue, hold down the Alt key for that. Or on the Mac it's also got an option written on it. And let's just paint out the rest of that hair. I'm just going to go really sparingly around where the skin is, because I don't want to get rid of the skin. As I said before, I'm going to use the ordinary eraser tool to do that. 
Let's move over to the other side. I'm going to make that uh, brush a little bit bigger. Hold down the control and the Alt key and move the mouse to my right. Makes that a bit bigger. And let's start painting. Grab a sample of blue. Alt key for that. And away we go. You'll notice that it's leaving behind a sort of a, a halo of blue. We're going to deal with that later on. Going to be really careful here because, again, I don't want to be painting out the skin. So let's make that brush smaller. I'm using the left square braces key near the letter P. I'm just going to get this little bit of bit of uh, hair here. Just going to go over that like that. Make sure we got that and all this stuff up here. Just been really careful not to get too far into the skin. Seems to be working okay, but you just got to be careful. All right, let's zoom in and deal with all this skin section down here. So, just clicked on the magnifying glass, space bar to move around a bit. Let's get the ordinary eraser tool, which is this one here. And we need a smaller brush. Control Alt, move the mouse to the left. And I'm actually pretty happy with how smooth the edge of that brush is. When you're trying to decide how hard the brush should be, just look at the boundary between the bit you're trying to leave behind and the bit you're trying to remove and see how hard edge that is. And if you click and erase and look at the edge that you've got and it looks like it matches uh, the image that you're trying to get rid of, then you're probably okay. And I'm actually going to make that smaller using the uh, braces key this time. And this is a conventional eraser tool. It's not going to get rid of that so easily unless I go really, really small. There we go, just a little bit of that, a bit bigger. Yeah, I can just pull the mouse along and start erasing just like that. What I'm going to find a little bit easier is to just draw a series of straight lines. And by the way, I think I'm going to make this mouse a little bit smoother on its edge. So let's just go back a little bit, command Z, I'm going to right mouse button click, brings up this thing here. I'm just going to drop that hardness down a bit and uh, let's move back in here. I'm going to click on a spot where I want to start, hold the shift key down, draw a straight line, and just move the mouse around this little bit on her neck. Again, click where I want to start, hold the shift key down, draw a straight line, and to get around the curves, I'm just going to draw a series of shorter straight lines. Still got the uh, finger on the shift key and I'm just working my way around uh, all this stuff here finger on the shift key. This is a fairly gentle curve so I can just draw this series of straight lines and space them out a little bit further. Let's pull the uh, view along a bit to see where the shoulder disappears to. Let's click on a point, shift key and away we go until we get right down to the bottom. Then we're just going to use a bigger diameter brush that's a little bit harder so let's make that a bit bigger and a hard edge. Uh, maybe not that big. There we go, something like that. And we'll just, just sort of start painting out these bits. Like that. Need to get a smaller diameter brush, so I'm using the square brace near the letter P. Make that a bit smaller. And I can just paint all that stuff out. Let's zoom out. Command minus a couple of times. Zooms out. Space bar to move around. Bigger diameter brush this time, using the right square braces key to increase that diameter. And then I can just get rid of all this stuff. Now you'll notice there's some uh, little bits that I've missed. And they're showing up quite well against the red background. Just up here, let's have a look, let's uh, zoom in this bit here. If I zoom in you can see where I've, oops, not that far. You can just see where I've missed. If I had the uh, the red turned off and the transparent background on, you just wouldn't see that. So that's why we have the red there. Let's just get in there with the eraser tool and just remove that stuff. I'm just going to use a small diameter eraser tool. And uh, there we go. Maybe make it a fairly smooth edge like that. And uh, just trying to avoid the hair that's left behind. Command zero jumps the image to full size and I can see the bits that I've missed so again bigger diameter brush just keep erasing until you get rid of it all 
Now this bit of the shoulder here, I want to go in and uh, zoom in on that. So Z for zoom, brings up the magnifying glass, click and zoom in. And uh, just pull that down so we can see. We need a small brush, uh, a razor brush that is. So going E for erase gets the ordinary eraser tool. You can just check that here. This is the one we want. Smaller diameter, so control alt key, click, pull the mouse to the left and I want to make that a little bit harder so I'm just going to pull that mouse towards myself to make that a little bit harder edged and a bit smaller. There we go. Then I can just paint that stuff out. Obviously I'm going to need to make this even smaller so I'm just going to use a square brace needs to let P so I can get right in there in that little corner. There's a little bit of hair there, I could get rid of that using the background eraser tool, so I might do that. Uh, I'm just going to start here, hold down the shift key, and just start clicking a series of straight lines, and this will get me, oops, command Z, undo that. Click on a point, series of straight lines, holding down the shift key, and that gives me a curve. So, that's not too bad. Square brace is key to make the diameter bigger, so I can just go back and get rid of all these bits. And that's not too bad. This bit in here, there's a piece of hair going across there, so I'm going to go back to the background eraser tool. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to sample what's left of that blue. Make it a small diameter brush because I don't want to get into the skin. And the background and the skin are sort of looking fairly similar, so I've got to be careful here. There we go. Then we'll get rid of that. Ordinary eraser tool, this one here, small diameter brush. Let's get rid of that little bit. And that's probably good enough. Command zero. And let's use a fairly large diameter brush. I'm just using the square brace on the right key with the ordinary eraser tool. And I'll just paint out all that stuff fairly quickly. Maybe I want to make it a little bit harder. Right mouse button click. Hardness 100%. Going down. I've still got some shoulder i got to fix because I didn't quite see it all. So Z for zoom. Magnifying glass tool, and uh, let's just move this along so I can see all of that. E for a razor, square brace key on the left, right mouse button click and just make it not so hard. And away we go again, let's just start up here somewhere. Shift key, work our way down, finish that, bigger diameter, and just get rid of the rest of this stuff. Command zero to see what we've got. Looking okay. See the halo around the edge of the hair? We need to deal with that because uh, depending on what background we put on it, it might look a bit weird. Here's another background. It's fairly busy. I'm going to select all of that. Select all. Command A would have done the trick. Uh, I need to copy it. So I go to edit, copy or command C. Go back to our picture. Paste. Command V. Let's drag it underneath the picture of our model. Now because the background is fairly busy in this image, we can get away with this halo effect around the edge of her hair. It's not too bad. But if we have a dark background like this, let's go Command A, copy that, Command C. Let's go back here to our uh, image and go Command V to paste. You can see the halo is actually quite a problem. And the way we're going to fix that, we're going to go to the burn tool, which is this one here. And we're going to set its range of influence to the midtones rather than shadows or highlights. We just want it to affect the midtones at the moment. And the exposure, I'm just going to go for about 80%. You may have to experiment with this, but 80 will do for the moment. That gives us a brush, and we can just draw all over the halo. We've got to make sure we have the right layer selected. I'm just going to go back to the layers and click on layer 0. I don't want to actually do that background I just put in. I want to do layer 0. Let's have a look at the right hand side. I'm just going to draw over her hair with the burn tool and it's affecting the mid-tones. Now I may have to come back and do this a few times, particularly on the bottom where it's actually quite dark. Uh, where the background image is dark and the halo stands out quite a lot. So that was one go. Let's start up out here again and have another go at it. And we just keep doing this until we're happy with the result. A bit more clicking around here. And it's starting to blend her hair into that background image. 
So a few clicks fixes that. Let's go over on the left hand side and start doing the same thing. We've got to be careful we don't get rid of the highlights that we want to keep, the ones that are actually supposed to be part of the image. So just go around here once, holding the mouse key down, left mouse button, sorry, hold that down. Just go around there once, don't get into the neck area, we don't want to make the skin darker. Let's go back, I'm going to start from here near, near where the hair joins the skin and the neck and click and hold and start blending that stuff back in again. Don't want to go too crazy up the top because I want to keep some of that natural highlight. Let's just work our way around this other stuff and we'll just blend that back in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's have a look uh, against the busy background. Yeah, it's still looking okay. And against the red background it looks like that but against the dark background, looks great. So there you go, that's how to do deep etch using the background eraser tool.